Queen Elizabeth II has been a constant presence on the throne for more than 70 years. Crowned Queen of the United Kingdom on February 6, 1952, she reigns over an additional 15 Commonwealth realms. While many monarchies have fallen during her lifetime, and many more in the generations preceding her coronation, the throne of England has remained an important aspect of British and Commonwealth culture. Why has the current line of monarchs on the British throne survived, while those of France, Germany, Ethiopia, and Russia and other nations disappear? What is the origin of the British monarchy? Despite a turbulent history, the line of monarchs to rule on the British throne goes back farther than most realize. It's easy to chart the history of the current dynasty back to 1603 and the reign of James I of England. You may already know that James I of England was also James VI of Scotland. You see, the first Queen Elizabeth had died after a 44-year reign which provided the nation with an exceptional period of stability. However, she died childless, and so the famous House of Tudor came to completion. As she grew ill, there was an increased concern that her lack of an heir would lead to considerable civil unrest, or even war as various elements would no doubt try to lay claim to the throne. The solution came from the North. The second cousin of Elizabeth I, James VI of Scotland, would assume the English throne and reign as the King of Great Britain. One of his first acts was to commission a translation that would become known as the King James Version of the Bible. King James had been part of a long line of kings stretching back centuries to 840 and Kenneth MacAlpine, often referred to as the first King of Scotland. Before Scotland became the nation we know today, the western portion of what we now call Scotland was controlled by the Irish. A line of kings was transported from Ireland to this Irish-held territory in the west under the kingship of Fergus Moore. Many generations later, this throne was transferred to Kenneth MacAlpine, who was crowned King of Alba. Alba would later be renamed Scotia and eventually Scotland. An Irish manuscript from approximately AD 1100 called Rawlinson 502 records the succession from Irish King Fergus Moore to Kenneth MacAlpine. Sinead, son of Alpine, or Kenneth MacAlpine, son of Euchid, son of Aidfine, son of Domingar, son of Donald Breck, son of Euchid Boyd, son of Aidan, son of Gabrin, son of Domingar, son of Fergus Moore. Here we have a dynasty of Irish kings leading to a dynasty of Scottish kings and ultimately the British monarchy. James I of England would not be the last King James to inherit the throne. James II, in 1689, visited the historic city of Kilkenny in Ireland. He was addressed not as a foreign king, but as a fellow countryman returning home, matching the history we've outlined. Whereas the honor of your majesty's pleasure was unexpected, so are our expectations of joy unspeakable. Never was a king of England so kind to this country. Never was this country so kind to a British prince. We conducted or sent a Fergus to Scotland. We welcome in James II, undoubted heir of Fergus by the lineal descent of 110 crowned heads, with that boast of antiquity to which no other monarch in the universe can aspire. We acquit Scotland for the principle and interest of 1300 years by receiving your majesty, in whose person we consider no stranger. We behold no conqueror, but our own blood restored to us after the absence of so many centuries, a son of Fergus, King of Ireland, and actually present in Ireland, which verifies an old proverb of ours that Avarith we should have about this time a king of our own, and continue under him in his issue a most happy nation forever. Queen Elizabeth II has enjoyed the longest reign of any monarch on the British throne. The history of that throne is among the most fascinating stories in existence. Her lineage extends back to dynasties in Scotland and Ireland more than a thousand years ago. Shockingly, even this does not mark the beginning of her lineage. Watch our video, What Happened to the Davidic Line of Kings, to see how this famous line of kings survived when most wrote it off as destroyed. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And for more content like this, please visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.